button and here we go. Jill, Ella, Jeff, Lisa, Etta, Lois, Carl, Bart, Carrie, Jack, Judy, Jean, Eric, Katie, Sally, Cleo, Joan, Hart, Troy, Fred, Dale, John, Gail, Matt, Blair, Glenn, Chair, Opal, Gary, Rose, Lena, Tony, Lana, Mike, Mary, Greg, Andy, Dean, Rudy, Betsy, Mark, Ann, Clark, Craig, Bryce, Cecil, Steve, Perry, Ellen, Betty, Alvin, Janet, Peter, Josie, Brian, Larry, Holly, Terry, Paula, Daisy, Blake, Clyde, Linda, Kathy, Bruce, Susan, Peggy, Kevin, Jenny, Marty, Frank, Jesse, Laura, Edgar, Sandy, Diane, Helen, Patty, Robin, Tanya, Karen, Roger, Derek, Nancy, Candy, Alice, Calvin, Danny, Daryl, Wanda, Field, Rossi, Perez, Cohen, Grant, Shell, Burns, Miller, Saxon, Castle, Calvin, Lopez, Aikida, Lester, Farley, Foster, Carter, Oyama, Sydney, Mason, Arthur, Carter, Knight, Landis, Larson, Hector, Dudley, Grover, Curson, Dubois, Owsley, Jin Fu, Ranger, Hunter, Brooks, Wright, Holden, Denver, Howard, Garcia, Hoover, Thomas, Harmon, Hamler, Patrick, Abbott, Clinton, Harvey, Hudson, Jenkins, Charles, Daniels, Gabriel, Lindsay, O'Brien, Bradley, Pittman, Gordon, Lozano, Wallace, Spencer, Ramirez, Gaylord, Douglas, Peacock, Chaucer, Goldman, Anthony, Okamoto, Clement, Marsden, Hoffman, Freeman, Desmond, Meacham. The meeting was at Mrs. Proctor's home. Miss Jensen was the speaker and Mr. Ward introduced her. Then the minutes were read by Ms. Lane, Ms. Richards appointed Mrs. Parvis, Miss Little, and Ms. Chapman to the executive committee, but Mr. Gray thought Mrs. Parvis would not work with Miss Little. Miss Little and Ms. Chapman worked together last year, but Mrs. Parvis has never worked with Miss Little. Mr. Gray thinks she will work only with Ms. Chapman. Mr. Jones met with Miss Dodge, Ms. Miller, and Mrs. Green. Miss Dodge and Mrs. Green were late to the meeting. Mr. Jones asked Ms. Miller for a report. Ms. Miller said that Miss Dodge had the material, so Miss Dodge reported that Ms. Miller and Mrs. Green and Miss Dodge and had uh, talked to Miss Hart. Ms. Carter, Mrs. Lake, and Miss Rose opinions varied. Miss Rose and uh, Mrs. Lake felt we should go ahead, but Miss Hart and Ms. Carter thought we should wait. Mrs. Green added that both Miss Rose and Mrs. Lake had met with Miss Dodge and Ms. Miller on two occasions. Mr. Jones asked uh, Miss Dodge what uh, Mrs. Uh, Miller and Ms. Green and Miss Dodge knew uh, regarding the work done by Mrs. Lake and Miss Rose. They told Mr. Jones what they knew. Serial numbers. R24436651J, 1455, 7639071X, 83, 2194T, N842787, 13A3694, E015955, 08B6563. L ninety two seventy eight zero eight ninety seven H ninety three twenty one O two fifty nine seventy six Q three 
3581K, 72J, 4418, 2367, 29O, L57, 3351, 73-56-29-G, 85A, 9102A41918-00-7236X31R05-96J47-9912-98K03-65-28-1026Q31-0827K09V1916A 91-14-83-H-74-0020-46-V-55-82-75-99-33-B-Q-19-83-74-54-D-37-28-N-59-60-14-10-D-28-29-29-50-38-H-59-L-87-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
Did she come to the house? Do you think it will be all right? Did you have an examination? Isn't she kind? They are very sweet. She ran too fast. She kept old coins. She left the city. She sent a letter. I know they told us. Where did she go? They formed a club. Is she in a mood? They were too hasty. She teased at the dog. What did they win? She wanted coffee. They had questions. They opened a tent. Why did she do it? They drove to town. They said she left. Are they ready yet? She isn't very happy. What did she write? She said they called. They are just visiting. Did she pay the bill? They made her angry. She went to a movie. She raced on Friday. They swam every day. She missed the plane. They went to the bar. She went on vacation. I know what they said. She bought a new car. I think they were late. When did she mail it? They wanted the book. She said they imported. They opened an office. What could they want? When was she present? They watched the races. I know she will succeed. They were to buy stock. She was there yesterday. These bags, that ball, this foot, see those, this chair, hit these, those times, sign these, leave this, those flocks, that sack, ask these, strike that, try these, this book, those trails, watch that, these checks, that room, those days, this horse, those girls, frame these, hold that, these boys, those facts, pull this, that booth, these sticks, this brush, those kids, that pool, plant these, ask those, that house, those decks, this train, these chores, those stores, push that, those flames, take these, this table, those shoes, set these, this dish, these grills, those pools, these tops, this report, see that, recall that, try those, this figure, supply that, those colors, this control, that record, those papers, this problem, that income, this engine, those lamps, that parcel, those comics, these units, that flower, cancel this, carry that, those boxes, this lumber, these pencils, that trailer, this roster, that expense, those masters, these faces, this legion, those outlines, this canvas, that enemy, these campers, that system, this posture, that uh, suspect, forget this, uh, these benefits, those gardens, these cabinets, that company, ca that canopy, of the clock, of the dog, of the sea, of the toe, of the tail, of the land, of the boat, of the skirt, of the pest, of the gap, of the fog, of the view, of the yarn, of the kite, of the wire, of the stone, of the store, of the lot, of the book, of the mall, of the cat, of the rail, of the snow, of the cage, of the ridge, of the load, of the shirt, of the hip, of the tile, of the yard, of the neck, of the stick, of the coat, of the bat, of the spine, of the stove, of the sound, of the pole, of the door, of the ship, of the man, of the sand, of the spade, of the mat, of the pants, of the tape, of the road, of the wind, of the wick, of the cap, of the jack, of the joke, of the house, of the pot, of the zoo, of the bird, of the mail, of the dock, of the rain, of the style, of the pile, of the nest, of the fork, of the shark, of the lip, of the cart, of the jet, of the year, of the pipe, of the vine, of the light, of the car. Those are good. And then you, that's really, you kind of get a taste of the um, writing automatically, right? Okay. You can see the light board, right? Who's awake? Nobody. I see it. Uh, Thank see you, it. Annette. <laughs> I'm, my it's coffee is strong and I'm still dragging. Me too. Okay. Here we go. Would you uh, state your full name, please? Leslie Thompson. What is your occupation? I operate an orchard. I'm a fruit grower. What kind of fruit do you grow? Cherries and apples. How long have you been in the fruit growing business? My wife and I have been there for 30 years. 
all right, after you grow the cherries, what do you do with them? I take them to the processor. He takes the pits out, adds sugar, and freezes them. Did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? I certainly did. During the course of your business, how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? We had several conversations. He has visited my orchard and I have visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talked. To the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in the area done business with the defendant? Absolutely. Many of them have. Now, you testified that you did business with the defendant uh, last summer is that correct uh, that's correct i took cherries to his processing plant who solicited the business what do you mean how did you come to do business with the defendant well he uh, talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant and we entered into an agreement so we orally solicited business from you is that a correct summary of your testimony yes it is did the defendant ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries yes he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were before he sent the letter did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers yes there was a meeting between him and the growers when did this meeting take place in july i think was he soliciting your business for his plant or for some other plant we thought he was doing it for his own plan i'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification as states exhibit one what is that this is a letter from the defendant and it is addressed to me what is the date of that letter july 17th is this the letter you referred to you before yes it is does this letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries it certainly does now you said that you did business with the defendant last summer that's right did you take cherries to his processing plant yes i did was the defendant personally present when you delivered the cherries at times he was yes did you negotiate with anybody else besides the defendant no i did not do you uh, know whether or not the defendant had an office in his processing plant? Well, we met in some office, but I don't know whether it was his or not. You met with the defendant personally in that office, yes. What did the process consist of? Uh, what type of machinery was in it? In the processing plant? Right. The usual machinery that you would expect to find there, the machine that takes the pit out of the cherries, the device that marries the that measures the amount of sugar, whatever is involved in the normal operation of a cherry plant. All right, when you delivered your cherries to the defendant, did he pay you the full purchase price? No, he did not. Did you deal with any other corporation that the defendant might have been associated with? Well, I delivered the cherries to his plant. I believed that I was delivering them to his business, but when I received the delivery slip, it had the name of another company on it. And up until that time, I had never heard of this other company. Did you receive some payment for the cherry? that you had delivered to the defendant's plant yes i did were these payments made by cash or check by check who signed those checks the defendant did did the checks bear the name of the defendant's company i really can't answer that i have copies but i don't know now in addition to owning your own orchard do you have a partnership with someone yes my neighbor and i have a partnership in the course of your orchard business with your neighbor did you get any written communication from the defendant concerning the cherries yes i did i got letters from both the defendant's company and from this other company that I mentioned. I'll show you what has been marked as States Exhibit 2. Tell the uh, court what that is. This is a copy of a letter addressed to my partner. Does this letter refer to conversations that you and your partner had with the defendant? Yes, it does. What is the date of that letter? September 22. This letter is addressed to your partner. Did you get a letter like this? Yes, I did. September is after the close of the cherry season. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, this meeting that took place in the office at the plant was this before the beginning of the cherry season just before it yes this letter that has been marked at states exhibit one which you testified you received had uh, various markings on the upper left hand corner some of them have been erased can you tell me what those were no i can't did you attach this correspondence to the complaint that you filed with the United States Department of Agriculture. Yes, I did. Do you have any reason to believe that the defendant sent a similar letter to any other grower in this area? I don't know what he sent to other growers. You took this correspondence and showed it to other growers, didn't you? Yes, I did. The defendant never advised you that you could take his letter and show it to other growers, did he? I felt a responsibility to the growers for whom I did harvesting. Please answer my question. I don't know whether he did or not. This letter says the price is 30 cents per pound, does it? Not. No, it says 40 cents per pound. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Is there anything in that letter that says the defendant will pay you in the future? I don't see anything like that.
Monica, can you tell me today how much you have not been compensated? I can give you an approximate figure. It's about $8,000. Is growing fruit the primary source of your livelihood? Yes. You are not a part-time real estate broker or anything like that, are you? Yes, I am. I sell real estate on a part-time basis. Okay. Now, so orchard, I mean, yoich and um, cherries, chair. Okay, it's okay if you have a conflict like that, because um, you can resolve that on a break or something. And definitely figure it out when you're typing a test. Okay. We'll break it down. Could you state your full name, please? Leslie Thompson. What is your occupation? I operate an orchard. I'm a fruit grower. What kind of fruit do you grow? Cherries and apples. How long have you been in the fruit growing business? My wife and I have been there for 30 years. All right. After you grow the cherries, what do you do with the, them? I take them to the processor. <coughs> He takes the pits out, adds sugar, and freezes them. Did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? I certainly did. During the course of your business, how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? We had several conversations. He has visited my orchard, and I have visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talked. To the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant? Absolutely. Many of them have. Now, you testified that you did business with the defendant last summer. Is that correct? That's correct. I took cherries to his processing plant who solicited the business. What do you mean? How did you come to do business with the defendant? Well, he talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant and we entered into an agreement would you state your full name please leslie thompson what is your occupation i operate an orchard i'm a fruit grower what kind of fruit do you grow cherries and apples how long have you been in the fruit growing business my wife and i have been there for 30 years all right after you grow the cherries what do you do with them i take them to the processor he takes the pits out adds sugar and freezes them did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year i certainly did during the course of your business how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer we had several conversations he has visited my orchard and i have visited his processing plant i don't uh, really know the number of times we talk to the best of of your knowledge have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant absolutely many of them have now you testified that you did business with the defendant last summer is that correct that's correct i took cherries to his processing plant who solicited the business what do you mean how did you come to do business with the defendant well he talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant and we entered into an agreement so he orally solicited business from you is that correct summary of your uh, testimony yes it is did the defendant and ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries. Yes, he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were. Before he sent this uh, letter, did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers? Yes, there was a meeting between him and the growers. When did this meeting take place in July, I think? Was he soliciting your business for his own plant or for some other plant? We thought that he he was doing it for his own plan. I'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification of States Exhibit 1. What is that? This is a letter from the defendant, and it is addressed to me. What is the date of that letter? July 17. Is this the letter you referred to before? Yes, it is. Does this letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries? It certainly does. Now, you said that you did business with the defendant last summer. That's right. Did you take cherries to his processing plant? Yes, I did. Was the defendant personally present when you uh, delivered the cherries? At times he was, yes. Did you uh, negotiate uh, with anybody else besides the... Would you state your full name, please? Leslie Thompson, what is your occupation? I operate an orchard. I'm a fruit grower. What kind of fruit do you grow? Cherries and apples. How long have you been in the fruit growing business? My wife and I have been there for 30 years. All right, after you grow the cherries, what do you do with them? I take them to the processor. He takes the pits out, adds sugar and freezes them. Did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? I certainly did. During the course of your business, how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? We had uh, several conversations. He has visited my orchard and I have visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talk. To the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant? Absolutely. Many of them have. Now you testified that you did business with the defendant last summer. Is that correct? <clears throat> 
That's correct. I took Cherry's to his processing plan to solicited the business. What do you mean? How did you come to do business with the defendant? Well, he talked with some of us growers about bringing Cherry's to his plant and we entered into an agreement. So we orally solicited business from you. Is that a correct summary of your testimony? Yes, it is. Did the defendant ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries? Yes, he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were before he sent this letter. Did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers? Yes, there was a meeting between him and the growers. When did this meeting take place in July, I think? Was he soliciting your business for his own plant or for some other plant? We thought that he was doing it for his own plant. I'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification of States Exhibit 1. What is that? That is a letter from the defendant, and it is addressed to me. What is the date of that letter, July 17? Is this the letter you referred to before? Yes, it is. Does this letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries? It certainly does. Now, you said that you did business with the defendant last summer. That's right. Did you take cherries to his processing plant? Yes, I did. Was the defendant personally present when you delivered the cherries? At times he was, yes. Did you negotiate with anybody else besides a defendant? No, I did not. Do you know whether or not the defendant had an office in his processing plant? Well, we met in some office, but I don't know whether it was his or not. You met with the defendant personally in that office? Yes. What did this plant consist of? What type of machinery was in it? Uh, what in the processing plant, right. The usual machinery that you would expect to find there, the machine that takes the pits out of your cherries, the device that measures the amount of sugar, whatever is involved in the normal operation of a cherry plant. All right, when you delivered your cherries to the defendant, did he pay you the full purchase price? No, he did not. Did you deal with any other corporation that the defendant might have been associated with? Well, I delivered the cherries to his plant. I believed that I was delivering them to his business. But when I received the delivery slip, it uh, had the name of another company on it. Up until that time, I had never heard of this other company. Did you receive some payment for the cherries that you had delivered to the defendant's plant? Yes, I did. Were these payments made by cash or check? By check. Who signed those checks? The defendant did. Did the checks... Would you state your full name, please? Leslie Thompson. What is your occupation? I operate an orchard. I, I'm a fruit grower. What kind of fruit do you grow? Cherries and apples. How long have you been in the fruit growing business? My wife and I have been there for 30 years. All right. After you grow the cherries, what do you do with them? I take them to the processor. He takes the pits out, adds sugar, and freezes them. Did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? I certainly did during the course of your business. How many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? We had several conversations. He has visited my orchard and I have visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talk. To the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant? Absolutely. Many of them have. Now, you testified that you did business with the defendant last summer. Is that correct? That's correct. I took cherries to his processing plant. Who solicited the business? What do you mean? How did you come to do business with the defendant? Well, uh, he talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant and we entered into an agreement. So he orally solicited business from you. Is that a correct summary of your testimony? Yes, it is. Did the defendant ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries? Yes, he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were before he sent this letter. Did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers? Yes, there was a meeting between him and the growers. When did this meeting take place? In July, I think. Was he soliciting your business for his plant or for some other plant? We thought that he was doing it for his own plan. I'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification as states exhibit one. What is that? This is a letter from the defendant and it is addressed to me. What is the date of that letter? July 17. In this, the letter you referred to before. Yes, it is. Does this letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries? It certainly does. Now, you said that you did business with the defendant last summer. That's right. Did you take cherries to his processing plant? Yes, I did. Was the defendant personal present when you delivered the cherries at times he was yes did you negotiate with anybody else besides the defendant no he did not do you know whether or not the defendant had an office in his processing plant well we met in some office but i don't know whether it was his or not 
You met with the defendant personally in that office? Yes. What did the plant consist of? What type of machinery was in it? In the processing plant? Right. The usual machinery that you would expect to find there. The machine that takes the pits out of the cherries, the device that measures the amount of sugar, whatever is involved in the normal operation of a cherry plant. All right. When you delivered your cherries to the defendant, did he pay you the full purchase price? No, he did not. Did you deal with any other corporation that the defendant might have been associated with? Well, I delivered the cherries to his plant. I believed that I was delivering them to his business. But when I received the delivery slip, it had the name of another company on it. Up until that time, I had never heard of this other company. Did you receive some payment for the cherries that you had delivered to the defendant's plant? Yes, I did. Were these payments made by cash or check by check? Who signed those checks? The defendant did. Did the checks bear the name of the defendant's company? I really can't answer that. I have copies, but I don't know. Now, in addition to owning your own orchard, do you have a partnership with someone? Yes, my neighbor and I have a partnership in the course of your uh, orchard business with your neighbor. Did you get any written communication from the defendant concerning the cherries? Yes, I did. I got letters from both the defendant's company and from this other company that I mentioned. I'll show you what has been marked as State's Exhibit 2. Tell the court what that is. This is a copy of a letter addressed to my partner. Does this letter refer to conversations that you and your partner had with the defendant? Yes, it does. What is the date of that letter? September 22. This letter is addressed to your partner. Did you get a letter like this? Yes, I did. September is after the close of the cherry season. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, this meeting that took place in the office at the plant, was this before the beginning of the cherry season? Just before it. Yes. This letter that has been marked states Exhibit 1, which you testified you received, has various markings on the upper left-hand corner. Some of them have been erased. Can... <laughs> I'll read, uh, I'll do the whole thing this time and I'll read it back to you. Ready, begin. Would you state your name, please? Leslie Thompson, what is your occupation? I operate an orchard. I'm a fruit grower. What kind of fruit do you grow? Cherries and apples. How long have you been in the fruit growing business? My wife and I have been there for 30 years. All right. After you grow the cherries, what do you do with them? I take them to the processor. He takes the pits out, adds sugar and freezes them. Did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? I certainly did. During the course of your business, how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? We had several conversations. He has visited my orchard and I have visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talked. To the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant? Absolutely. Many of them have. Now you testified that you did business with the defendant last summer. Is that correct? That's correct. I took cherries to his processing plant. Who solicited the business? What do you mean? How did you come to do business with the defendant? Well, he talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant, and we entered into an agreement. So he orally solicited business from you. Is that a correct summary of your testimony? Yes, it is. Did the defendant ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries? Yes, he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were. Before he sent this letter, did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers? Yes, there was a meeting between him and the growers. When did this meeting take place? In July, I think. Was he soliciting your business for his own plant or for some other plant. We thought that he was doing it for his own plant. I'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification as States Exhibit 1. What is that? This is a letter from the defendant and it is addressed to me. What is the date of that letter? July 17. Is this letter the letter you referred to before? Yes, it is. Does this letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries? It certainly does. Now, you said that you did business with the defendant last summer. That's right. Did you take cherries to his processing plant? Yes, I did. Was the defendant personally present when you delivered the cherries? At times he was, yes. Did you negotiate with anybody else besides the defendant? No, I did not. 
do you know whether or not the defendant had an office in his processing plant? Well, we met in some office, but I don't know whether it was his or not. You met with the defendant personally in that office. Yes. What did this plant consist of? What type of machinery was in it in the processing plant? Right. The usual machinery that you would expect to find there, the machine that takes the pits out of the cherries, the device that measures the amount of sugar, whatever is involved in the normal operation of a cherry plant. All right. When you deliver your cherries to the defendant. Did he pay you the full purchase price? No, he did not. Did you deal with any other corporation that the defendant might have been associated with? Well, I delivered the cherries to his plant. I believed that I was delivering them to his business, but when I received the delivery slip, I, it had the name of another company on it. Until that time, I had never heard of this other company. Did you receive some payment for the cherries that you had delivered to the defendant's plant? Yes, I did. Were these payments made by cash or check by check who signed those checks the defendant did did the checks bear the name of the defendant's company i really can't answer that i have copies but i don't know now in addition to owning your own orchard do you have a partnership with someone yes my neighbor and i have a partnership in the course of your orchard business with your neighbor did you get any written communication from the defendant concerning the cherries yes i did i got letters from both the defendant's company and from this other company that i mentioned i'll show you what has been marked as States Exhibit 2. Tell the court what that is. This is a copy of a letter addressed to my partner. Does this letter refer to conversations that you and your partner had with the defendant? Yes, it does. What is the date of that letter? September 22. This letter is addressed to your partner. Did you get a letter like this? Yes, I did. September is after the close of the cherry season. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, this meeting that took place in the office at the plant, was this before the beginning of the cherry season? Just before it. Yes, this letter that has been marked as state uh, States uh, Exhibit 1, which you testified you received, uh, has various markings on the upper left-hand corner. Some of them have been erased. Can you tell me what those were? No, I can't. Did you attach this correspondence to the complaint that you filed with the United States Department of Agriculture? Yes, I did. Do you have any reason to believe that the defendant sent a similar letter to any other grower in this area? I don't know what he sent to other growers. Uh, you took this correspondence and showed it to other growers, didn't you? Yes, I did. The defendant never advised you that you could take this letter and show it to other growers, did he? I felt a responsibility to the growers for whom I did harvesting. Please answer my question. I don't know whether he did or not. This letter says the price is 30 cents per pound. Does it not? No, it says 40 cents per pound. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Is there anything in that letter that says the defendant will pay you in the future? I don't see anything like that. Can you tell me today how much you have not been compensated? I can give you an approximate figure. It's about $8,000. Is growing fruit the primary source of your livelihood? Yes, you are not a part-time real estate broker or anything like that, are you? Yes, I am. I sell real estate on a part-time basis. Okay. All right, here we go. Hold on. Okay, question. Would you state your full name, please? Answer, Leslie Thompson. Question, what is your occupation? Answer, I operate an orchard. I'm a fruit grower. Question, what kind of fruit do you grow? Answer, cherries and apples. Question, how long have you been in the fruit growing business? Answer, my wife and I have been there for 30 years. Question, all right, after you grow the cherries, what do you do with them? Answer, I take them to the processor. He takes the pits out, adds sugar and freezes them. Question, did you do business with the defendant during the summer of last year? Answer, I certainly did. Question, during the course of your business, how many conversations have you had with the defendant before last summer? Answer, we had several conversations. He has visited my orchard and I visited his processing plant. I don't really know the number of times we talked. Question, to the best of your knowledge, have other cherry producers in this area done business with the defendant? Absolutely, many of them have. Now you testify that you did business with the defendant last summer. Is that correct? Answer, that's correct. <clears throat> I took cherries to his processing plant. Question, who solicited the business? Answer, what do you mean? Question, how did you come to do business with the defendant? Answer, well, he talked with some of us growers about bringing cherries to his plant and we entered into an agreement. Question, so he orally solicited business from you. 
Is that a correct summary of your testimony? Answer, yes, it is. Question, did the defendant ever communicate to you in writing concerning the processing of your cherries? Answer, yes, he sent us a letter stating what his intentions were. Question, before he sent this letter, did you have a meeting with him and with the other growers? Answer, yes, there was a meeting between him and the growers. Question, when did this meeting take place? Answer, in July, I think. Question, was he soliciting your business for his own plant or for some uh, other plant? Answer, we thought that he was doing it for his own plant. Question, I'll show you what the reporter has marked for identification in States Exhibit 1. What is that? Answer, this is a letter from the defendant and it is addressed to me. Question, what is the date of that letter? Answer, July 17. Question, is this the letter you referred to before? Answer, yes, it is. Question, does uh, this uh, letter accurately state the price that the defendant said he would pay you for your cherries? Answer, it certainly does. Question, now you said that you did business with the defendant last summer. Answer, that's right. Question, did you take cherries to his processing plant? Answer, yes, I did. Question, was the defendant personally present when you delivered the cherries? Answer, at times he was, yes. Question, did you negotiate with anybody else besides a uh, defendant? Answer, no, I did not. Question, do you know whether or not the defendant had an office in his uh, processing plant? Answer, well, we met in some office, but I don't know whether it was his or not. Question, you met with the defendant personally in that office? Answer, yes. Question, what did this plant consist of? What type of machinery was in it? Answer, in the processing plant? Question, right answer, the usual machinery that you would expect to find there, the machine that takes the pits out of the cherries, the device that measures the amount of sugar, whatever is involved in the normal operation of a cherry plant. Question, all right, when you delivered your cherries to the defendant, did he pay you the full purchase price? Answer, no, he did not. Question, did you deal with any other corporation that the defendant might have been associated with? Answer, well, I delivered the cherries to his plant. I believed that I was delivering them to his business. But when I received the delivery slip, it had the name of another company on it. Up until that time, I had never heard of this other company. Question, did you receive some payment for the cherries that you had delivered to the defendant's plant? Answer, yes, I did. Question, were these payments made by cash or check? Answer, by check. Question, who signed those checks? Answer, the defendant did. Question, did the checks bear the name of the defendant's company? Answer, I really can't answer that. I have copies, but I don't know. Question, uh, now, in addition to owning your own orchard, do you have a partnership with someone? Answer, yes, my neighbor and I have a partnership. Question, in the course of your orchard business with your neighbor, did you get any written communication from the defendant concerning the cherries? Answer, yes, I did. I got letters from both the defendant's company and from this other company that I mentioned. Question, I'll show you what has been marked as States Exhibit 2. Tell the court what that is. Answer, this is a copy of a letter addressed to my partner. Question, does this letter refer to conversations that you and your partner had with the defendant? Answer, yes, it does. Question, what is the date of that letter? Answer, September 22. Question, this letter addressed to your partner. Did you get a letter like this? Answer, yes, I did. Question, September is after the close of the cherry season. Is that correct? Answer, that's correct. Question, now this meeting that took place in the office at the plant, was this before the beginning of the cherry season? Answer, just before it. Yes. Question, this letter that has been marked States Exhibit 1, which you testified you received, has various markings on the upper left-hand corner. Some of them have been erased. Can you tell me what those were? Answer, no, I can't. Question, did you attach this correspondence to the complaint that you filed with the United States Department of Agriculture? Answer, yes, I did. Question, do you have any reason to believe that the defendant sent a similar letter to any other grower in this area? Answer, I don't know what he sent to other growers. Question, you took this correspondence and showed it to other growers, didn't you? Answer, yes, I did. Question, the defendant never advised you that you could take this letter and show it to other growers, did he? Answer, I felt a responsibility to the growers for whom I did harvesting. Question, please answer my question. Answer, I don't know whether he did or not. Question, this letter says the price is 30 cents per pound, does it not? Answer, no, it says 40 cents per pound. Question, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Is there anything in that letter 
that says the defendant will pay you in the future? Answer, I don't see anything like that. Question, can you tell me today how much you have not been compensated? Answer, I can give you an approximate figure. It's about $8,000. Question, is growing fruit the primary source of your livelihood? Answer, yes. Question, you are not a part-time real estate broker or anything like that, are you? Answer, yes, I am. I sell real estate on a part-time basis. Okay, ladies, thanks for waking up. And I'll see Thank you, you this afternoon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.